please welcome to the stage, Kiera Lee. Blacky, high yellow, burnt toast. She thinks I think I'm better than her because I'm light skinned. Mm, she looks all right, you know, for a dark skinned girl. Mm, mm -mm, he's too dark, too black. I want a guy with light skin and good hair. These are some of the comments I've been hearing conducting my research in 2010 and 2011. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kiera Lee, and I'm here to talk about colorism. Colorism is discrimination usually within an ethnic group where one's value is based on the shade of his or her skin. Colorism here in the U.S. began uh, during slavery with house slaves and field slaves and continued on into the 20th century. In the 20th century, the brown paper bag test was used to determine privileges for people of color. Those darker than this bag couldn't attend certain schools, organizations, churches, and other social settings. Those darker than this bag just weren't good enough. Now, although this test has been put to rest, isn't socially acceptable or politically correct, the power of this bag remains a driving force. We need to do better. In our own country, light-skinned Latinos make on average $5,000 more per year than dark-skinned Latinos. In our own country, Asian Americans are using dangerous skin whitening creams with slogans like, get 99% whiter, better. We can do better, I know we can do better. In 1939, Dr. Kenneth Clark conducted the Dahl test. This test measures how children conceptualize race, beauty, and self-esteem. I replicated this test with honor roll students in my documentary titled Light Skin, Dark Skin, or In Between. Self-esteem, self-worth. Which doll is pretty? Oh, this one? Okay, which doll is ugly? That one, all right. Which doll is good? This one's good? Okay. Which doll looks like you? <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, you mean to tell me the same doll that you just said is bad and is ugly is the doll you think looks like you? Self-esteem, self-worth, we got to do better. Look at the people around you. There are some people in this room today, right now, who may have been teased or bullied as a child or even rejected by a peer group because of their looks. Others may have even been discriminated against within their own family circle. Yeah, that's right, their own brothers, sisters, fathers, their own mother. Imagine that. How many rugs do we need to sweep that one under? But I, I have hope. I, I am inspired. I am inspired by the little girl who is choosing a doll that has no physical resemblance to her as the good doll, the nice doll, the pretty doll. I am inspired by the little boy who is choosing a doll that looks nothing, 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 nothing like him, but nevertheless, he thinks that's the good doll. 
I am inspired in my travels by the faces of the children when they light up at the mere notion that no matter how light or how dark they may be, that they too are good, that they too are nice, that they too are beautiful. This is the United States of America. This is a great nation. What are we going to do? What are you going to do? My name is Kiara Lee. Thank you.